Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to create a mood board in Adobe Illustrator. So if you're here, you've probably already downloaded my free mood board templates. I made five different ones. They're all in my free resource library. Um, if you have not signed up for that yet, I definitely recommend doing so because these will be really helpful for one and two. There's a lot of other helpful stuff in there, so if you find these helpful, I'm sure you'll find other things in the library that you're going to want as well. So go ahead and put in your email in one of the fields above or below this video. There's a couple, so um, let's get started. I've already collected all of my photos, textures, images, blah, 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 that I want to incorporate into this mood board, so now let's teach you how to use it. So first and foremost, I opened up one of the first, I, this is mood board one, the template um, that you can download. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my layers panel. So in the toolbar on the right hand side, my layers panel is right here. For some of you, it might not automatically show up in this toolbar. So if that is the case, go ahead and just go up to window and click on the layers uh, option in the Windows panel. So we have the Layers panel open. We're going to start with Layer 1. Layer 1 is this long skinny box right here that we want to put our first image into. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the bottom of the Layers panel and find Layer 1. Um, all of the layers are locked at first because this just makes it so you can't accidentally move one or something like that. That way nothing gets messed up. So we're going to unlock this layer by just clicking on the padlock there. So now that the layer is unlocked, we're going to go to File, Place, and we're going to find the image that we want to place in here. Just click anywhere once you've selected it. Um, obviously mine came out extremely large, so I'm going to resize it. So now that I've resized it, I'm going to shape it so it fits in there a little bit better. I'm just going to eyeball it for now. I'll show you how to adjust it in a second. So obviously this photo is going to fill that shape now and it's not crazy, huge, stupid. So next we're going to send the image to the back of the uh, shape that we want it to go into by going to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. So now that we have our photo selected, we also want to select this shape by holding down the Shift button and pressing the shape. So now you can see both objects are selected. They're both outlined by this blue outline, which also indicates that it's on layer one because layer one is blue, you can see right here. So now we're just gonna make a clipping mask. All you have to do is go to object, clipping mask, make. Boom, done. Um, if you wanted to adjust where the clipping mask was made, all you have to do is double click on it and you can move it around and resize it a little bit more fits better um, once you've fixed how you want it to look. You just click out of it and you're good to go. So if we moved on to the next layer, I'm going to lock this one so that I don't mess with that one ever again unless I, unless I need to edit it. But next I want to put an image in this five circle. So I'm going to go to layer five. I'm going to select the padlock so I unlock it. I'm going to go to File, Place. I'm going to select um, this image. Just click on it. This one came out a lot smaller, which is really nice. I'm going to resize it a bit more, move it around. I'm going to send it to the back of that circle, Object, Arrange, Send to Back. I'm going to click on both objects. Um, a shortcut for to make a clipping mask on Mac is just Command-7. Otherwise, you can go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And there you have it. So I'm going to keep doing the rest of these layers so you can see this process. 
but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or rewatch this video as many times as you need. And we will come back once this is all finished. Okay, so now that I have my mood board all created, the last step here is to delete these numbers. So these numbers were just a reference for you to know what layers corresponded with what shapes, but you wanna make sure you delete those before you save your final image. So go ahead and go to this top layer that says delete this after finishing or something like that. And we're gonna delete it by just clicking, dragging to the trash can. Boom, it's gone. So there you have it. All you have to do is save it out. You can save it as a PDF, a JPEG, whatever you want. And your mood board is good to go. Again, if you haven't downloaded these templates, be sure to do so and check back next time for the next tutorial. Thanks guys.